it's been several weeks since SpaceX triumphed in the second integrated flight test, and the focus is now on gearing up for the next momentous Starship launch. The recent announcement from NASA has injected fresh excitement into the upcoming flight, with all eyes on Booster 10 and Ship 28. Ship 28 is presently undergoing Final Thermal Protection System, or TPS, work in the high bay. Once this is completed, Hopper will greenlight its transit to the launch site. Upon arrival, Ship 28 will be prepared for static fire testing after a necessary six-engine spin prime. In contrast, the journey for Booster 10 has been more complex. After the installation of its hot staging ring on Monday, the booster has become the reigning monarch at Starbase. Following successful securing to the new booster transport stand, it gracefully made its way to Massey's for extensive ground tests. Earlier, the Super Heavy prototype underwent a partial cryogenic proof test, likely loaded with around a thousand tons of liquid nitrogen, simulating the behavior of propellant under extreme conditions. The upcoming crucial tests for Booster 10 are slated to take place once it is mounted on the orbital launch mount. Presently, repair work is underway for the OLM, involving the replacement of all 20 hold-down clamps, a necessary task post the last two launches. This maintenance is crucial for the launch mount's operational efficiency, ensuring it performs optimally during critical phases of the launch. Expectations are that Ship 28 will head to the launch site ahead of the booster. Additionally, the Mechazilla chopsticks, pivotal components of the orbital launch tower, have resumed their movement, gearing up for pre-launch testing for the third integrated flight test, or IFT-3. Elon Musk, SpaceX's visionary CEO, had mentioned on November 19th the readiness of hardware for the next Starship Super Heavy test in three to four weeks. While this timeline might appear uncertain given the absence of rocket parts at the launch pad for pre-flight tests, a realistic expectation points towards a test flight in early 2024. Factors influencing the Starship launch schedule encompass fine-tuning and resolution of issues from the previous test flight, alongside securing a new launch license from the Federal Aviation Administration, or the FAA for short. SpaceX's sights also seem set on an early 2024 third test flight as indicated by the company's submission to the Federal Communications Commission, or the FCC. The mission aims to circumnavigate the world and conclude with a splashdown near Hawaii. Building upon achievements and enhancements from previous flights, expectations are high that the next Starship launch will surpass its predecessors in innovation and complexity. Jumping ahead, Head to another impressive SpaceX creation, the Falcon Heavy is making its way back to the hangar following its static fire test this past Sunday. SpaceX hasn't officially confirmed the test's outcome, but several sources indicate a rescheduled launch for Monday, December 11th. Although the specific launch time remains unannounced, it appears SpaceX delayed the launch for more thorough preparation. Excitingly, SpaceX aims to introduce the Falcon Heavy rocket to the West Coast. Nate Jansen, manager of Launchpad Systems and Operations for SpaceX at Vandenberg, highlighted these plans during the 10th Annual Celebration and Future Forum for the Economic Alliance Foundation, or Econ Alliance, at the Santa Maria Country Club. Jansen expressed the significant growth of Vandenberg's launch activity, escalating from a single launch four years ago to an anticipated 30 by year's end. Projecting an exponential rise, SpaceX eyes around 50 launches in 2024, potentially reaching a staggering 100 launches in 2025. He revealed plans for launching approximately once a week next year with the goal of launching every three to four days within the next two years. Jansen attributed this surge in launches to SpaceX's commitment to reusability, significantly reducing turnaround time and the cost of deploying payloads into space. SpaceX's strategy involves recycling the first stage booster and clamshell payload fairings for multiple missions, a practice that contributes to cost efficiency and streamlined mission schedules. Initially 
designed to handle 10 launches, the Falcon 9 rocket boosters underwent subsequent modifications to extend their capabilities to 15 launches. Over time, these boosters have earned certification for up to 20 launches, a capacity that may even be surpassed. Remarkably, the first stage booster utilized in last Friday's mission from Vandenberg reached its 17th liftoff, demonstrating remarkable performance and reusability. Looking ahead, SpaceX plans to reassess and conduct thorough analyses, aiming to certify the first stage boosters for an impressive 25 to 30 flights by next year. This commitment to reusability aligns with SpaceX's strategy, significantly reducing costs and turnaround time for subsequent missions. Earlier this year, SpaceX made headlines by securing a lease for Space Launch Complex 6, marking its second launch facility on the West Coast. While previous missions were conducted at Space Launch Complex 4, this additional site, originally constructed for the Manned Orbiting Laboratory and later repurposed for the West Coast Space Shuttle, both programs canceled before liftoff, was recently vacated by United Launch Alliance's Delta IV rocket. Following the last Vandenberg Delta IV launch from SLC-6, SpaceX swiftly moved in, gearing up for future Falcon Heavy missions from this site. The preparations for this site are anticipated to commence soon, with a target for the inaugural Falcon launch from SLC-6 scheduled for mid-2025, according to Janssen's insights. SLC-6 not only supports Falcon 9, but also facilitates the Falcon Heavy rocket, a configuration that includes three Falcon 9 first stage boosters combined to transport larger payloads into orbit. Anticipating the first Falcon Heavy contract for Vandenberg in 2026, SpaceX plans to incorporate two additional landing sites at Vandenberg to enable the return of all three boosters on Falcon Heavy launches. An ambitious and exciting prospect for future missions. I'm looking forward to it. I think that's going to be pretty epic, Jansen commented, emphasizing the potential of these upcoming developments. Lastly, a pivotal moment arrived for NASA's Psyche spacecraft on December 4th, marking the day when the probe unveiled its vision to explore the cosmos. Since October 13th, otherwise known as the day it launched aboard a SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket, Psyche has voyaged through space in darkness, keeping its cameras dormant. The craft is en route to explore the asteroid 16 Psyche, situated between Mars and Jupiter within our solar system's orbit. Psyche's ongoing going mission represents a thrilling venture into the uncharted realms between Mars and Jupiter. This initial glimpse of the cosmos, albeit raw and unrefined, holds immense promise for the discoveries and revelations that lie ahead. Recently, on December 5th, the mission team unveiled Psyche's maiden space snapshot. This initial mosaic, gathered by the spacecraft's imaging instrument on December 4th, showcases a scattering of stars visible from Psyche's perspective. Perspective. Referred to as first light, this raw image presents an unrefined glimpse awaiting fine-tuning to eliminate background noise and enhance clarity, a process the team plans to undertake soon. This early snapshot marks just the beginning of a thorough calibration process essential for Psyche's upcoming encounters. The team is meticulously analyzing these initial images, gearing up to optimize the spacecraft's settings. These calibrations are vital as Psyche progresses on its journey, aiming to gaze toward the Red Planet in 2026 and ultimately the Asteroid 16 Psyche in 2029. Jim Bell, Arizona State University's Psyche Imager Instrument Lead, expressed excitement, stating, These initial images are only a curtain opener. The team intends to utilize these star images to assess the imager's functionality as Psyche ventures closer to Mars, aiming to capture captivating views of the Red Planet. Bell eagerly anticipates the most thrilling images yet in 2029 when Psyche will photograph its intended asteroid target. The composed portrait comprises 68 distinct images captured within the Pisces constellation as the cameras happened to be oriented in that direction when activated. Notably, the brightest star visible, Mu Pisces, holds a magnitude of 4.9, while the other stars range between magnitude 7 and 9. This initial photo batch serves as preparation, equipping the spacecraft with optimal settings for its eventual data collection on the Asteroid 16 Psyche. The team plans to craft
craft comprehensive 3D maps using visible and invisible wavelengths. To craft comprehensive 3D maps using visible and invisible wavelengths emitted by the celestial object. As Psyche embarks on its mission, its cameras poised to capture celestial wonders, the world eagerly anticipates the unveiling of these visual narratives that promise to expand our understanding of the cosmos. With each step closer to its destination, Psyche's journey serves as a testament to humanity's relentless pursuit of knowledge and exploration in the vast expanse of space. Well folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, and if you want to support our channel even further, you can hop on over to our Patreon through the link in the description below. Sign up and become a patron today to gain access to exclusive content. Sounds exciting, right? In any case, we still appreciate your generosity and your passion for space exploration. As always, this is Kevin from Great SpaceX, and until next time, keep looking up, and happy holidays.